Hey guys, so I made a dumb mistake and I'm making this vlog right now to be able to recoup some of the losses from what I'm about to do to fix the mistake. So yeah, let's take a moment to listen to my fridge. It's decently noisy. And yesterday I was filming a video in the kitchen. I'm still filming that video right now. When the fridge decided to kick on and start cooling, and it wouldn't stop cooling for a long time and I got annoyed. And at first I tried to move it out so I can unplug it, but this thing is kind of hard to move. And then I got the genius idea to turn the temperature up so the fridge would stop making the cooling noises. And as I was doing that, I realized if you turn up the temperature all the way for both the freezer and the refrigerator, you can actually turn off the fridge. And the cooling stopped, as you just heard. So yeah, I thought this was gonna be a helpful feature in the future. Say that five times fast. For videos, I decided to film in the kitchen, so you can't hear the background noise of the fridge turning on anymore. And I knew the first time I discovered this feature, I would forget to turn the fridge back on, so I set a reminder. And that day, I did actually remember to turn the fridge back on without the reminder. So then, flash forward to yesterday, where I was also filming another part of the video in the kitchen. I remembered my life hack a few days ago, so I decided to turn off the fridge and freezer again for that day of shooting. And I was in a hurry that day to film, so I didn't remember to set a reminder to tell me to turn the fridge back on. And jump forward again to now! It's been over 24 hours since the fridge has been on. So I'm once again shooting another part of the video in the kitchen, and I suddenly realized that I forgot to turn the fridge back on. And it's too late. I know I tweeted about it, but I felt like I had to make a vlog about it too. Again, to recoup the L's I just took. I turned it on a few minutes ago, and these are the actual temperatures inside the freezer and fridge right now. The recommended for the fridge is 37, 51, and the recommended for the freezer is 0, 32. I googled how long is food good for in the fridge, and I found this government website that tells you how long food is safe for without the fridge being on. And it looks like I have to discard a bunch of things. So yeah, let's begin the process. Alright, starting with the fridge, yogurt. I'm pretty sure these were good because they were just sitting on the shelves at Walmart without refrigeration, so yeah, we'll keep that. Soda should be good. This, have to throw away anyway. Ooh, oh yeah, definitely. Goodbye smoked salmon. Cream cheese, definitely. String cheese. Yeah, goodbye. I didn't even eat one yet. Oh, and a random slice of cheese I forgot about. Yeah, definitely throw away. Seems like all the sauces should be good, except this is expired. Mayonnaise is expired. The expiration date on the syrup is rubbed off. Just in case. This Hershey syrup is expired. Okay, okay, now you sound an alarm. This ketchup is expired. Ooh, this pasta sauce says used within 14 days. This has been here for months. Throw away. And this is probably the same too. Alright, everything else here should be good. Good thing I didn't have any fruit. And yeah, the rest is soda, energy drinks, water, and coffee. That should be good, these should be good. So yeah, that's it for the fridge. Honestly, not too bad. Most of the stuff was expired anyway. Now for the freezer. Got an extra large bag for this. Oh, this is gonna hurt so much. Starting off, oh, pizza. Oh, it's so flabby. <laughs> Definitely these wings. By the way, I do not recommend these. These suck. Don't buy from them. It said that waffles were still good. Thank God. Uh, the corn dogs have to go, but they have been there for a long time, so... Uh. Oh, and all these frozen foods I didn't get to cook. Yeah, these all probably have to go. I need a new bag. These popsicles have to go, but they've been here for a while anyway, so. 
And this is what's gonna hurt me the most is having to throw on all this ice cream. Here's a half eaten one. And yeah, it's liquid at this point. I'm not gonna drink it even though I'm kind of tempted right now. And these are brand new. Oh, I can squeeze this one. And yeah, all of these vegetables have to go too. I was trying to be healthy, so I bought a lot of vegetables on my last shopping trip, but that's all gone to waste. Ugh. The only thing left in the freezer is the waffles. Yeah, the fridge still looks decent. Also, the ice maker doesn't sound that great now. Oh, actually, never mind, it's back to normal. And yeah, since the ice maker had ice, water kind of leaked everywhere. A decent amount collected in here. Gotta empty this out. Ugh. A good opportunity to clean the bottom of this freezer. <laughs> Shut up, freezer. There's nothing inside of you right now. And yeah, here's all the food that I have to throw out. So you might say some of these prepackaged meals are probably still good but i rather not question whether or not I'll get food poisoning when I'm cooking one of these, so yeah, goodbye. Goodbye bad stuff that was in the fridge. Goodbye bad stuff that was in the freezer. And finally, goodbye vegetables that was in the freezer. I better leave this trash can on the curb so it doesn't stink up my garage. If someone decides to dumpster dive, they're gonna have a good meal. Or food poisoning, I don't know. Ugh, I am not having a good day. Consider this video a new mini episode of how to have a bad day or my expensive mistakes. It works for both of them. Gotta do the thumbnail face. This is just wishful thinking, and most people don't need this unless they're really stupid, like me, but there should be an option for an alarm for if the fridge is turned off for a certain amount of time. Or maybe they can have this off screen stay on instead of turning off after a couple of seconds. Actually, that's a good idea. No beeping, just have this off screen constantly stay on. And oh look, I need to replace my water filter. Great. Also, if I just decided to unplug the fridge, I would have definitely remembered to plug it back in because in order for me to unplug it, the fridge would have been sticking out this far. So yeah, I would have remembered. And the cherry on top of it all is that I'm driving to Dallas tomorrow, so I have to get a good night's sleep. <sighs> how can I sleep knowing how much food I just wasted? I haven't even packed yet. All right, after all of that, throwing out the food, it's time to return to shooting this video. So yeah, this video is a warning to all the YouTubers who like to film in their kitchen. If you turn off your fridge, remember to set a reminder for you to turn it back on later. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm gonna starve. <laughs> And there's the sign the garbage man came, a uh, tipped over trash can. Yep, no more food. Oh, what the?